Hello everyone and welcome to the Wednesday Challenge. Welcome to the Wednesday Challenge. As you've heard, I've just played you a solo on the red pepper over. That's why I call it the red pepper over. What do we need to make one? So first of all, we need obviously a red pepper, one pointed pepper. We need a straw. Can you see that? Which could be plastic or paper. Doesn't matter. I personally think the plastic one works better for this particular vegetable, but up to you. Uh, and we need a pair of scissors and we need a knife and therefore probably an adult just for one moment perhaps they can help with this bit okay so how does our how does our instrument work well first of all we need a reed i'm a bassoonist so this is what i would use in the orchestra here's a reed and we are going to make our reed out of the straw what we need to do first of all is can you get the end of the straw and we just need to flatten you can flatten with your fingers like that you see about one and a half centimeters in Really flatten it. All right, let's just run it. Run it between your teeth so it's nice and flat. It's got a good crease on the end, yeah? Can you see that? So it's just a bit flattened now. And then, with our pair of scissors, we want to think back about 12 millimeters either side, and we want to cut triangles to the tip. Um, now, on this particular straw, can you see it's got some red lines there? So what I'm going to do is cut a triangle from 12 millimeters down up to just inside the other side of the red line. Here we go. There's one. Do you see? And here's the other. That's about right. And then it might have stuck together, so you just pinch the end like that. And hopefully if you blow it, you get a reed. So that's our reed. Okay, now the next thing. We need the instrument. So we're going to use this red pepper. First of all, we just top the end off, just a tiny bit, like that. Did you see? So really very little, not much at all. And it's just enough to be able to put my reed in. Now you might get a little bit of pepper stuck in the end at the beginning, that's quite normal. Just blow that out, and then that's your reed sorted. And the other end of the pepper we need to cut off. I'm going to use a knife, but you could use a pair of scissors. It's very, very simple. Just take your knife, cut down the middle. Okay, you've got a bit of stalk there. You can pull the stalk out. There you are with all the seeds. Get all the bits and pieces out. That's it, so it's nice and hollow inside. Then we take our straw and we get our pitches, the different pitches, by pushing the straw in and out. So what happens is when we push the straw further in, the instrument gets shorter and the notes get higher. If we pull the straw further out, the instrument gets longer and the notes get lower. And there you go, makes a fantastic sound. So, the further you push it in, the instrument gets shorter and the note goes higher. And then you see how low you can get. So that's our pepper oboe, okay? I'm going to show you another one now, very quickly. I, I don't know if you saw at the beginning, I had a nice tray of vegetables and things in front of me. This one we're going to do with a cucumber. Again, it's a very, very simple instrument to make and very effective. So we need a cucumber, and again, we need our reed. This time our reed, we're going to make out of a paper straw, just for a bit of variety. Now this, this reed's a lot shorter. Um, let me see, let's measure the reed. I think we're going to need a five centimeter reed. So five centimeters, we chop our reed, very simple. So we just cut our reed like this with a pair of scissors. And there's our reed cut, okay? And then we flatten the end just as we did with the, with the plastic straw. Can you see that, how I flatten that end very clearly? Yes, okay. And the same again, around about 12 millimeters each side and we're just cutting right into the center so we're left we're about half the diameter in the center, which is three millimeters if you want to know, but more or less like that, okay? And what you do, once you've done that, can you see it stuck together? Click it on the side and it just opens up. Then you should be able to get a sound of it. They are a bit temperamental, but let's see. This is the hardest bit. 
And just like all double reed players, our instruments are very temperamental and we all suffer from reeds. Reeds are terrible. You get some good ones, you get some bad ones. Let's see if this is a good one. There we are, so I just squeeze it a little bit. Quite happy now, working quite. Working absolutely fine. So what do we do now? We've got a cucumber. What we need to do with a cucumber, here's what I made earlier. Okay, so with our cucumber, we've made the reed and the reed will just go into the end like this. So our cucumber, we're going to cut in half. Okay, first of all, we'll just top the end off. So we're going to chop this end off with the stalk, like that. We've just got that amount of stalk off. And then, then we're going to chop the other end off, just at the end of where, where it kind of goes, it begins to go curvy like that. This is, our, this is what we're left with, our end. And then we literally cut our cucumber in half. Again, you might want an adult to help with this bit. Okay, so we cut our cucumber in half. And then we end up with two halves like that, do you see? Perfect. So, very carefully, we just cut down either side of the pips, just a tiny cut like that. Tiny cut on the other side. And with our teaspoon, we scoop out the insides. Scoop out the insides like that. And we're left with this lovely sort of channel. Do you see that? Can you see that? That's it. That's it. And we do that on both our cucumbers. The piece of paper towel, just dry off the two sides of the cucumber, because just in case there's a bit of moisture. And then, I'm going to use serve tape. You could use elastic bands, you could use a bit of string. Serve tape's easy because you can just tape up the cucumber and you get to see the shape and you still get to see the cucumber itself, which is kind of fun. So let's do that. There we are. That's our cucumber roughly taped up and a little bit at the end. It's a little bit tricky to be in with, but actually you get the hang of it quite quickly. So there we are. I give it an extra wrap around the end. It needs to be fairly airtight because obviously if it's not airtight, our instrument won't work. So, we've got the bore, as you know. Do you remember the other piece of straw that we cut off? This is very helpful indeed. We're going to use this and we're just going to push it into the cucumber. That's it, and that literally makes the hole for, for, for the reed to go in. The bit of cucumber at the end, you have great fun just blowing that out. If it doesn't blow out like this one doesn't, just cut the end off, start with another bit. And we're going to use our straw to make the tone holes. So we put the reed in the end, there we are. Let's see if that's working. Well, that definitely works. And then with our other straw, we can make some tone holes. So what we do is we literally just push, push the straw into the cucumber, into the middle, and it will cut that section out. Do you see that? It's just cut that section out. You can just lift it out, or it might be stuck in there, and you're left with a perfect hole. There we go, the cucumber oboe. That was a very quick tutorial on how to make your red pepper oboe and your green cucumber oboe. So, let's see what you come up with, okay? Um, as I showed you earlier, a whole tray of vegetables, here they are. Vegetables, peppers, they're hollow inside, so that's very easy, or a melon, very easy to scoop out. I'd be very interested to see if someone managed to make something out of a melon. Let's see what instruments you can make. Let's see what tunes you can play and send in all your examples, and we'd love to see your challenges. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the results are. Bye for now. Bye-bye.